Howdy. My name is Michael, and I kind of wanted to talk today about kind of a deck that I found to be kind of fun and enjoyable to use for the purpose of demonstrating and showing off different aspects of the game. And kind of shows a couple different mechanics, and it's been a good teaching tool. Hasn't really, you know, not necessarily the most impressive to use against decks like Blue Hybrid or anything like that. But it's a fun little deck. Good casual game, good for casual games and teaching it people to play. And, you know, I enjoyed Chaos Gallimon back when BT5, and then BT7 just gave it a few things just to be a little fun still, and somewhat viable in games if you occasionally do. So, to start off, we get our eggs. So, I'm playing for the Demi Mara. Obviously, Snow changed from the old BT5 list. Snow changed from the majority of purple lists. We want the we're deleting things and wanting to draw the cards and benefiting off that. Uh, however, I am also running one of Sunamon. Uh, nine times out of ten, the we sit here and you know the Digi Hama doesn't really matter because we're ultimately trying to digi burst it away. We're trying to get rid of it's not really going to see put sit there a lot. Uh, we probably won't even hit five eggs necessarily most of the time. Uh, but I do enjoy, due to some of the techs I'm playing, the benefit of the Sunamon, if it does happen to stick around, to draw me an extra card when I draw and delete, uh, draw and trash and things like that. So for my rookies, or my level threes, we're running four of Tapermon. Again, no real change from the BT8. ET5 versions of this deck. You know, the straight on deletion draw card main deal. For the BT5 Guillemon, same thing. The on deletion trigger gain of memory. The newer things we get for the list start to be here. Here is the EX01 Tapermon. Uh, like I said with the Sunamon. It's a just a nice inherited that sometimes will play into effect, play a role. And it, like I said, this isn't designed to be a tier one deck. This isn't designed to beat other decks. Uh, this card could easily be Gazimon, and really you'd only probably go to two of them as Gazimon. Uh, or like, and then this be like a fake Ogmon expert or something like that. To, or even the new Elecmon. Right, for the purpose of our goal is to play the meta. Uh, however, the purpose I'm using the deck for has been more of a teaching thing, uh, so it's been less relevant. And then to finish up my rookie, or my level threes, we're playing two copies of Labramon. And Labramon, again, is, you know, a draw, a discard, it's nice, it's fun, and so on and so forth. Uh, just a good little fun allows triggers for the Sunamon and for some of the other techs we're doing in the deck. We get to level 4s. We're running Black Gralmon. The way I've designed the deck, ideally this will stay under our Chaos Gallimon, and so we won't have to worry so much about having the issues that Digiburst causes, and we will get the additional security plus 1. We won't always, but it will be nice when we do. Then we're running, for the rest of the champions in level 4s, we're running the Icemon package. This is just such value to play 4 Icemon and 4 Icemon scatter mode. Uh, personally, I care more about the scatter mode and the draw 3, discard 2 aspect of it than I do the Icemon being free drops. But that's a little bit of extra aggro. That's an extra body you can digivolve onto. And it does get you... Two game went pretty quick. It does get you there faster. All these Icemon rush decks run around. They're good for a reason. Icemon's great. It really is great to be able to free play a couple of Icemon at a time and all that. Uh, so while I do personally like the draw and discard off the Icemon scatter mode as a more important aspect, I do think the Icemon themselves coming out is pretty good and is a great aspect of the deck. Moving on to my level fives, and this starts getting into more like what we're trying to do with the egg, is four Black War Gramon. Obviously, we want this card. Uh, obviously, we want this card. We want its inherited effect to 
be able to just kill, delete one of our guys and trigger to unsuspend our Chaos Gallimon and just get that trigger multiple times to, and things like that. The Digiburst being able to pitch three under it to get back a level three, so you get back your Tapermon or you get back your Geomon, then go into uh, Chaos Gallimon to delete the one you got back is super beneficial, super great. Uh, and it's obviously the main ultimate we're trying to digivolve into. This is where we're going with it. This is what we want. Uh, but then we're running three copies of uh, BT6 Skull Greymon and one copy of Rebellion Mon. Now, this is a big thing that I found was really enjoyable. Found a little neat thing that I saw when I first saw this because I had built the deck in BT5 and went. BT6 came out and gave me this card. And I kind of, I kind of felt this would be super good. Felt super good, and it's why I run the Sudamon. It's why I run the Labramon. Uh, it's kind of why I put the fourth one as the Rebellion Mon instead. Um, one for the random blocker with retaliation kind of thing is kind of relevant to just have that random bit of retaliation. Uh, but more importantly, if I discard this card, I can put it at the bottom of my Black War Gralmon stack. And then I could say have a stack that says Black War Gralmon with a Black Gralmon, a Labramon, and a Sunamon under it. And then I can pitch this. It goes to the bottom of my Black Gralmon, and then I can remove these three for the Digiburst to get back and get back to Labramon. And then I still have a Black Gromon with a security plus one. Black War Gromon with a security plus one. All right. And so that's kind of the idea behind running the Skull Greymons. So that's where I chose to do Skull Greymon and Rebellion Mon as the other four, uh, other four level fives for this deck. So, that brings us to level 6. Obviously, we're running our board Chaos Gallimon. You know, that's the whole premise of this deck. That's the whole deck tech video, or deck profile video we're doing. That's what we're talking about here. We want this guy. He's our bread and butter. He's our great fun. You know, he, when Digivolvins, deletes a dude to delete one of your opponent's dudes. And then brings your dude back. Because you probably delete your Tapermon or your... Geomon, and then you bring it, it, one of those back from the bin. Then you swing this card, delete the thing again with the War Grom, unsuspend it, attack again. And it's just good, all good fun at that point. We're running a secondary uh, Mega. So our other level 6 is going to be Anubismon. Uh, there will be times where you have enough memory, or this effect's already on the field. You can Digivolve into one of a uh, Anubis Mon bring back a level 3 and it won't, it won't put you over, it'll keep it on your turn, you'll have that rush and it, having that rush is just nice and then that's also another target if you don't want to use it for rush to use your Chaos Gallimon or the Chaos Gallimon trigger from, ends up bringing back one and you can still swing to finish it up. Uh, so Anubis Mon is just kind of a neat little utility uh, as the second area level 6 here. Uh, then we got Tamers. We are running two copies of Matt. Uh, because we want that memory center. We want the ability to not get choked out by our opponents. Uh, however, it's also a secondary like recycle. Of, so if my Chaos Gallimon goes to the trash or something else I need goes to the trash, I can get it back with you know Matt and that's just nice to have. Uh, I'm also playing one copy of the Sora Mimi. It's probably the most underused of the uh, dual Tamer cards that came out in BT6. Uh, as, you know, nine times out of ten, the extra memory is not really going to happen right now, uh, given that, usually, especially in hybrid format with Pokemon's running around and Nemon, you know, uh, preventing you, f your opponent from having that. Uh, however, the draw discard effect I find in this build and in my Titamon build uh, is 
heavily beneficial, and it, occasionally that memory does become relevant. Uh, that's why it's just a one of, and I just kind of enjoy having that extra bit of draw and discard available. Uh, and then for options, we're running two fly bullets as our source of removal um, instead of Trump Sword, uh, just because this card hits most threats and it doesn't care if they're suspended or not. So if somebody's like doing what I'm doing with here and unsuspending before the security trigger and stuff like that, uh, the fly bullet should will still hit them. Uh, we're running one Glaive Memory Boost as it's nice to do basically the same thing as Matt does and provide a little bit of extra memory. Um, we're also digging with purple two copies of Purple Memory Boost. Uh, personally, I might change that. It's kind of iffy just to have. I might just go one and one Glaive and Purple. Uh, haven't fully decided. Uh, and then I'm running three copies of Demonic Disaster. Um, the big idea here, the big thing I'm doing is this deck's more oriented casual play, more oriented to, to uh, learning, and so really it's more of a I'm just going to see how many times I can swing my Chaos Gallimon and see if I can OTK uh, you with it, uh, which you can. This deck can get to a point where you just OTK with the Chaos Gallimon, assuming, depending on what's in security. And so it's been kind of more of a teaching deck, and it's been it's fairly efficient at that. It's, you know, it's a strong enough that if you're a new player going against it, the consistency of it makes it hard to deal with, uh, while at the same time being a weak enough deck that it's not like you're being oppressed by a deck like Blue Hybrid or something like that, uh, where the deck just you know demolishes you. Uh, so this can go, so you can go up against it with just about any deck you have available. And it's just kind of a nice little thing there. Um, and obviously it's not the greatest. It's got its flaws, it's, but it does its purpose really well. It does a good job of teaching. And ideally, we make a Chaos Gallimon punch people a million times and have fun with it. Uh, it's fun to watch, fun to play with, uh, fun to play against. Uh, and I just wanted to share my take on a BT7 version of Chaos Gallimon since we continue to have Eismon uh, until the end of next month. So feel free to comment, uh, present your opinions, see if you like it, give it the deck a try. And uh, just remember to have fun.